from MVL News. Okay. Hello, my name is Gabby, and I went to the San Jose Occupy protest, and this is what I saw. Alright, so what is your name? My name is Gabriel Padilla. And what are you doing here tonight, Gabriel? Uh, we are occupying San Jose here tonight, just trying to uh, outreach to people, you know, about our movement against, you know, the corporate greed that is involved in, you know, the higher corporations and um, here protesting against the banks, that's a big one, you know, then there are all their illegal activities that, you know, affects uh, the people as a whole, you know, in, in every community, so. What do you hope to get out of being here? Um, we. I think one thing that, you know, we all hope for, and I can say myself personally as well, is, you know, to, the biggest thing is change, you know, like we're out here making a stand, we are a worldwide movement, we're growing, and we're tackling some big, you know, big issues here that, you know, really need to be addressed, you know, because they affect everybody, you know, 1%, you know, is depicting everything for the rest of us, 99% who are, you know, suffering. And so what I'd like to see, you know, happen is, you know, first, Personally, the first thing I'd like to see done is uh, the all the bankers, you know, and the illegal anyone involved in any illegal activity needs to be held responsible for their actions, and you know they need to be tried, you know, and, and just like a democracy, you know, in a they got a fair right to a trial, and it needs to be brought up, and it needs to be situated, you know, because I mean, if if one of us, you know, c committed an illegal crime, whether it be some sort of fraud or you know whether it be theft of some sort, we would. We would hit, you know, we'd hit hard, you know, we'd hit rock bottom. But they get away with this every day because they got the money, they got the power, they got the ties, and we're here taking the stand, saying we've had enough. So, have you guys formed a lot of committees? Do you guys think you have a lot of supporters? Yeah, uh, we, we, you know, we formed a lot of uh, committees. You know, it's great. We have our newspaper committee. You know, that's uh, starting to uh, kick off, and we're going to be able to provide a weekly newspaper here soon. Um, I mean, even today, we probably handed out over a thousand flyers on our outreach. Um, as far as committees, we we have our food committee, we have our safety committee, we have you know our occupier committee, we have we have just welcome committees, you know, education committees, and you know our and it's talked about every day at 7 p.m. is our general assembly, and then Sunday um, we have our biggest general assembly of the week every Sunday at noon. So that's when, you know, a lot of situations get brought up, you know, or, you know, issues get brought up and we discuss it as a whole. You know, we're, we're very transparent here, so everywhere, everybody knows what's going on and everybody can have a voice and put their opinion in on it so that we can create solutions, you know. It's, and it's awesome, too, when we have, you know, when we come together like this and we're united and people have a bunch of different opinions and people have, you know, what they want to say, what they want to say, but it's awesome to be able to find common ground and regardless if you're, you know, if your opinions are kind of butting heads with somebody, we can take that and create a solution to make everybody happy, you know. So that's one of our biggest things is creating solutions here, you know, like what solutions can we create to make everybody happy, you know. What, like in a transparent leadership, it's quite easy to come to conclusions and, uh, about uh, solutions that are possible. But when you have a leadership like our government or, you know, um, you know, these big corporations that aren't very transparent, we don't get all the information. How are we supposed to put in our two cents on what needs to be done when we don't know the whole story? So one thing we found here, too, is when you have a transparent leadership, it's very easy and, and it's very uh, progressive, you know, to come up with solutions. So that's one thing that I've noticed with here, too. So. And what's been the response from the public? Uh, I mean, it's been awesome, honestly. Like, we have people, like, daily, you know, donating food or uh, donating their time or whatever they can, you know. Like, we get made hundreds of honks every day. I mean, people look, I feel people look at us and they, they see kind of hope, you know. Like, even though they may not have the time to be here, they, they drive by, they send us a honk, and we get, like, a, you know, power fist or a thumbs up. You know, that means, like, they look at us and they see hope, you know, for change. Because people, you know, know there's an issue. You know, they can see the issue in their day-to-day -day lives, but, you know, the problem is, who's going to do something about it, you know? And that's where this worldwide, you know, revolution comes in, you know, comes into play, you know? People are standing up, people want to do something about it, you know? And, you know, that should have happened a while ago, but now it's happening, you know? Now we're ready for it, and, you know, I think it's had a major effect on the public. I mean, just the fact that we've, you know, been able to stay here at City Hall, you know, and, you know, use our First Amendment, you know, right, of freedom of speech being out here, it's been, you know, it's been awesome, you know, and just like uniting together as a community has been awesome, and that's one thing we really need to focus on 
here in this whole movement is unity, you know, so. How long have you been outside of City Hall? Uh, we've been out for since a uh, little more than a week now. Um, Sunday was our week marks, uh, our one week mark. So now we have, we're going on week two. Um, so we've been out here a total of uh, eight days, I believe. So yeah. Is there anything else you would like to say? Uh, Viva Revolution, <laughs> power to the people. Thank you.